Hello. Hi. Hey. Hi. What's up? How's it going? Thank you so much for joining us today. We have been getting a lot of messages about the step-by-step -step process on how to flip couches and furniture. So today we thought it'd be a good idea to just go through step-by-step -step on how to do it. We might have to break this video up into two different parts just because there's a lot more that goes into it than you might think. It's a pretty easy and quick process once you get the system down, but we just want to give you the tips and tricks that we have learned over the course of doing this the past few weeks. So we are going to try to find a couch today just because that is our bread and butter. Um, since we have a truck, it is easy to go pick them up. It's the most profitable. You can clean them up super easy compared to flipping like a TV stand where you have to paint it and you usually don't make as much profit. Finding a good deal on one can take some time. So we're gonna do our research, see if we can come across one. If not, we might move into something else if we can't find one super quick. I also understand that not everybody owns a truck and can go get couches. It's very limited to people that have a truck. So just know that if we do find a couch and flip it, the same rules and principles and tips and tricks will apply for if you're flipping like a dresser or something and you can fit that in your car or anything else, it's really gonna be the same. I mean, the actual flip itself might be a little different with like cleaning up a couch compared to painting something. So with that part of it, you might have to figure that out on your own, but all the other steps should be pretty straightforward and the same for all types of furniture. Alrighty, I'm gonna shoot you guys over to Sadie. She's gonna show you how to find a good deal on Facebook Marketplace and what to look for while looking at different listings of furniture. Hey guys, so the very first thing I'm gonna do is hop over into my Facebook app and go into the marketplace. So when I'm searching for couches, I'm just gonna go ahead and go for couch. And the very first thing I like to do is change the tab that says shipping and local to local only. I don't want a couch shipped to me. I wanna be able to get in my car and go pick it up that day. So I'll see listings there. And then the other thing that I want to look for is we're trying to make a profit. So I can't spend a ton of money on a couch. I need something that is under a certain price so that I can make a certain profit. So I'm going to go ahead and use my filters and put my maximum price in at $100. That way I can hopefully find a couch that I can sell for $200, $250 and make a good profit. So we'll see listings. And Facebook Marketplace, the algorithm isn't always super correct. Like we want a couch or if we search for sectional, maybe some other things will come up, but for the most part, it's pretty good. So the first thing I'm seeing that is very appealing to me is this white sectional. It's $100. So I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna very briefly look through the pictures. And on the second picture, I find that it is destroyed. So. This one is gonna be a no-go for me. It's a leather couch, so something like that can't easily be fixed. So I'm not gonna message on that one. I'm gonna exit out and keep scrolling. Another thing that I see a lot of is just single couches, which is good, but you can't always sell one single couch for a big profit. So I also try to stay clear of those. The number one thing I look for is sectionals and couches with love seats. So here's another sectional. It looks very similar to the white leather one that we came across before, but it looks like it might not be quite as torn up. And again, with this one, there's only one picture, so the seller might have not cared very much about their listing, and it is listed as a, as $100, and I'm not sure if I could get quite a bit more than that, but I definitely could negotiate. It does look dirty, so maybe it would take some cleaning and it would fix up really nice and look brand new. So that's definitely one that I would message on and ask if it's available. Now that I showed you guys kind of what to look out for when searching on Facebook Marketplace, I'm gonna throw you back over to Cam to talk about different keywords you can use to search. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys some different keywords and tricks that I use to find good deals. Um, I usually just start out on the main homepage of today's picks. Facebook has kind of remembered my searches in the past and so they'll just give me recommendations based off of that. I'm actually seeing two right here. 
that are in, this one looks to be in really good condition. So one thing I like to do as well when I'm messaging on it is instead of just saying, hi, whoever you're talking to, is this still available? I like to customize it a little bit um, just because they're getting so many messages with the same, is this still available? And so I like to say something else to make myself stand out. Hey Zach, I can come pick this up from you today if it is still available. Well, I had a smiley face, why not? Okay, I'll send that one. And then I was also noticing this one also looks to be in really good condition for a dollar. So I'm going to say the same thing. Can get this from you today. It's still available question mark okay so those two are sent so I'll just kind of look through here I think Sadie was showing you a few of these so people that are listing couches list them with all different titles so here's a few different um, search terms that I use when looking for them the first one would just be sectional couch that's pretty common So sectional couch for sale. That'll usually bring up quite a few good ones. Couch and love seat is going to be the next one. That'll usually bring up quite a few. And of course we do local only. And then you can scroll through there and see if there's anything good. Just couches in general will bring up good stuff. And then you can also do like free, like free furniture. A lot of the times, like, it'll bring up a lot of good stuff as well. Sofa is going to be a good keyword that you could use to find something. It's all going to bring up pretty much the same listings, um, but these are just some of the ones that we use. And if you see anything, that's a sectional or a captional love seat combination below a hundred bucks. Just check out the condition, depending on the condition, could be a pretty good deal. My biggest piece of advice here would be to check your local marketplace whenever you have a second. Instead of wasting your time scrolling through like Instagram or TikTok, instead scroll through Facebook Marketplace. And the only reason I say that is because the good deals go really quick. At least that's how it is in my market. It may be different where you're living. But typically the really good deals will go within like 15 to 20 minutes. So whenever you have that natural instinct of looking at your social media next, instead just go to your local marketplace and see what they have available. And you might not come across something super quick, but if you look often, you'll find a good deal. Okay, one other last tip that I wanted to give you was when you're looking at these search terms up, so for example, I have sectional couch pulled up right now. I've got it for a maximum of 80 and local only. One nice thing that you can do is click this little bell down here that says notify me. It'll notify you when a sectional couch that's less than 80 is listed. So you can create that alert and then over here on your notifications, it'll pull up when a new listing appears. So you'll know exactly when a new couch or a new good deal of a piece of furniture hits the market. All right, so right after recording that, I received messages back from the two that I had messaged on. This first guy said, getting a lot of interest, can you come pick it up right now? So I'm gonna respond and say yes. I can, what's your address? The ones that are free, they typically want you to come right away just because they're trying to get rid of it super quick. I usually like to ask too if it's from a smoke-free home just because that helps with resell. And then I'm going to message this other person back and ask if I can come in an hour or so. I won't be able to fit both of the sectional couches in my truck, so we'll have to go pick one up, bring it back, go pick up the other and bring it back. So we're gonna go pick up that first one then. So we usually just do one strap this 
this way, and then if it feels wobbly, we do one over the top. Alrighty, so we made it back. We're just gonna unload the couches now. The next step is to take off the cushion covers. So they all just have the zipper, super easy. Take it off. We're gonna do this um, on all of them, and then we're gonna throw it in the washer and dryer. And then all you do is put it back on when you're done. So that part's super easy. Alrighty, so it's the next day and I have washed and dried all of the couch cushions. And I've put them all back onto the couch here. Just to keep you guys updated, yesterday we picked up two free sectional couches. I'll do a close up of them here in just a second. They're pretty much the same exact couch, just slightly different color. They're both in really good condition. Um, they could use some cleaning though, so I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum them first and then use all my cleaning supplies to get them cleaned up. I'll link all of that in the description below if you wanna check it out. And then I'll show you step by step on what I do for pretty much every couch to get it all cleaned up and ready to take pictures and post on Facebook Marketplace. Alrighty, so here's the second couch that we picked up. And then here is the first one over here that we picked up yesterday. Like I said, both in really good condition. I've washed and put back on all of the couch cushions. I'm gonna go ahead first and use the shop vac. I'm gonna take off all the cushions and give it a good vacuum. And then what I'm gonna do is grab this. It's technically a carpet cleaner, but it works great just for this as well. I'm sure anything similar to this would work good as well. So I'm gonna spray all the dirty spots on the couch with this, and then I'm gonna scrub it with this. And then what I'm gonna do is let it sit for about five minutes, and then I'm gonna go through with my little green thistle, and I'm gonna clean it up. And this works really well. It gets all of the dirt out of the couches and it just cleans it up super nice. And then I'll let it dry, and then it should be ready to take some good pictures and post on Facebook Marketplace. So since I cleaned up all the cushions already, it's mainly just the arms that typically need it. I don't know if you can really see from the camera, but I'm gonna go ahead and scrub that out first. And then I'll do the other arm. I usually try to apply quite a bit of this, just because it can go a long way. And then you just scrub it off. So we're gonna fill up this little green bissel just with warm water. dish soap and a little bit of white vinegar it's about a fourth a cup of white vinegar I just I guesstimate but it's usually about a fourth a cup and this is about a tablespoon of dish soap Again, I just guessed them in, but if you want to measure it out, you can do it that way. All right, so now that we've got this full, we're gonna put it back in here. And then it's all plugged in. So what this does is I'm gonna turn it on here, and then this will shoot out water, and it will just suck up the dirt in the couch, and all the dirty water will go into here. I usually just do the arms because I've already washed the cushions. If there's like a stain or a spot on the cushions, I'll go through and get that. So, check it out. Probably can't really tell just because these are some darker couches that it cleaned up a whole lot, but it does do quite a bit. It gets a lot of dirt, 
So I suggest that you at least do it in the arms and the spots that look dirty or if there's any stains. Even if it doesn't look like it's doing a lot, it is picking up a lot. So now I'm gonna take off all the cushions and just vacuum up everything and then we should be ready for some pictures. All right, so we got this on Amazon. Like I said, the link is in the description. You don't need one of these. You can just use a regular vacuum if you want to, but they are super nice to have. Any shop vac will work. So if you have one already, great. Um, if not, you can get it pretty much wherever, but it does clean up super nice. all the dirty work literally I am gonna show you guys how I like to set up the couches for pictures so you guys don't have to do this but I think it adds a little extra oomph to your pictures and it also makes your listings maybe stand out just a little bit more so I have here with me about a third of my collection of throw pillows and I do have quite a bit of throw pillows inside <laughs> and I use them for this exact reason. So if you guys don't have throw pillows, a really good place to find them would be again Facebook Marketplace and I try to stick to neutral colors that would kind of match with any color couch that we come across and I don't know, I think just having a few really helps. So I'll go ahead and throw these on the couch. And now we're ready to take a couple pictures. So as far as pictures go, a lot of times I use our nice camera, but other times I just use my iPhone. It's a lot quicker and it definitely is really good on its own. So iPhone pictures are great if that's all you have. So what I like to do is make sure that the couch is by itself. It's free of clutter. We pushed all the clutter off to the side and nothing else will be in the picture except the couch. So for my main picture, I make sure to get the whole entire couch into the picture and then I'll go ahead and do some close-ups. I'll show any close-up pictures of damage so that the buyers get a really good idea what they're looking at. Alrighty, so now that we've got those pictures taken, I'm gonna go ahead and post it to Facebook Marketplace. I'm gonna share my screen with you guys. I have the listing all typed out, so I'll show you what I do for pretty much every one of my listings. So as you can see here, we've got all the photos. On this second one, I like to edit it and show how big it is because a lot of people will ask about the size. So when they see it as the second photo, it's just super easy and you never get the question of what the size is for it. So we've added all of those. We've got a nice close-up of it. And then just a few different angles and a few different shots of it. And then for the title, I try to use at least two keywords for people when they're searching. So I just typed in cute brown sectional couch. So we just typed in sectional and couch. And then the price, I always look to see what others are going for in my area. For this kind of a sectional, it's going for anywhere from 200 to 250. I start usually on the higher end and I start with doing no delivery. If it's not selling, I'll typically drop the price per day. And if it gets to the point where I need to add in that I'll do a free delivery to get the sell, then I'll do that as well. But I usually don't start out with that just because there are a lot of people that are willing to come pick it up. A lot of the times people will ask if I can drop it off and depending on how many messages I'm getting, if I'm getting a lot and I know that someone is willing to come pick it up, I'll usually just let the person that can come pick it up do that. But if I'm struggling to find a buyer, then I will tell the person that I can drop it off for free. And then again, like I said, if I need to lower the price, I'll do that and then I'll add in free delivery later. And then the category, I always do sofas, love seats, and sectionals. I usually just do used, like new condition. And then my description right here says, usually it's in, it's in really good condition. I always say that I vacuum clean and shampooed everything because we did all of those. Um, if there's any tears or stains or anything that's wrong with the couch, I'll say in the description 
what's wrong with it and we usually have a close up of that. But with this one, there wasn't any. So we'll just say that there's no tears or stains. And then people always like to know that it comes from a smoke free home. So I'll usually include that. I'll just say that the throw pillows are not included and to message me if they have any questions. And then another big piece to this is adding tags. So I usually just do these couch, couches, sectional, sectional couch, cute and furniture. Those usually do pretty well. I don't know how big of a difference that makes, but I usually add them just in case. And then all you have to do is click next and then do your location, apply, next. And it's good to go. It'll typically go in a review for 10 to 15 minutes and then it will post to your Facebook marketplace. You'll usually know if it's gonna sell quickly because you can go back to see how many views and saves it's getting. If it's getting a lot of views within I would say the first hour, anywhere from like 20 to 30 views and a few saves, then that's a pretty good indication that it will sell quickly. If within the first hour or two it's only gotten like four or five views and no saves at all, that typically means that you probably have it priced too high. If it's getting a lot of listing views and saves, I'll typically just let it be because I know that it will probably sell within a day. If it's not getting a lot of views right off the bat, I'll usually let it sit for about a half a day and then I'll usually start to lower it in increments of 50, so I'll drop it down 50. If I've lowered the price at least three times, that's when I'll add in free delivery. And then usually the lowest that I've ever sold a sectional couch for is 125. So I think that kind of gives me a good idea of the low end of couches that sell. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the other sectional that we have. I'm just gonna do the exact same thing for that one as well. And then we'll get back with you guys on if they sell quick or not and what they sell for and if I have to do the delivery or not. Wow. 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 So we had never flipped a sectional that was this material. We have flipped a few like microfiber sectionals. So I wasn't, we were, I guess we weren't like positive what it would go for. We, yeah. we, we had a good idea, but I think we could have gotten a lot more from them. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, so as you can see, I posted it last night, so honestly it hasn't even been 24 hours. It has received 841 <laughs> listing views, 42 listing saves, and 10 shares. That is absolutely insane. Yeah, we probably could have gotten like maybe 200 more out of these. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. But that's okay because yeah. we did want a quick turnover. Yeah, and that's the thing too is if, if you want to get a, get rid of them quick, then put it a little bit lower. If you're okay to hold on to them for a little bit, then obviously put them a little bit higher. But now we'll know for next time that we can get this material for a little bit more. This second one that I put up that's pretty much identical, just a little bit lighter color, got 215 listing views, 20 listing saves, and one share which I thought this one was cooler looking, but I guess not. I like the other one better. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we do have two people coming today to pick them up. One is coming in just a little bit, and the other one's coming later tonight. And they've both already paid through Venmo, so we've already made our money off of them, and it has been a great couch flipping day. It's been a flipping great day. It's been a couch flipping day. A couch flipping good day. <laughs> So just some last tips and pointers that we wanted to give you guys is number one, when you come across a good deal, you have to be on your toes. Like I said, they go super quick. So quick. That one, both of these were up for like yeah. maybe 10 minutes. Maybe 10 minutes. When I messaged both of them, they're like, I've already gotten a ton of messages about it. So if you can come now, come get it. So that's another one too, is you have to be able to go maybe not like right away but within like an hour or two i would say because they're looking to just get rid of them quick so you have to be available to go pick them up um if they have them for cheap like say 50 dollars or something and you know that they'll be a good deal also offer to pay through venmo up front and then go pick them up yeah. that way they can hold it for you, they can mark it as pending so they don't get other messages. Yeah. As always, our biggest piece of advice is to just get out there, give it a shot, see if it works good for you. Um, your life and business experiences could be completely different. 
like we said in the past, like it's it's a really easy way to get into it. So you might as well just give it a shot and see if it works for you. And again, if you don't have a truck and you need to do something smaller, like a dresser or something like that, you can definitely use these same principles and do it for something that doesn't require you having a truck. So we hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and got some really good information on couch flipping out of it. And we hope that you will give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to this channel. It really would mean the world to us. Now we're going to go spend our $500 profit on nothing. We're going to put it away for savings. <laughs>